Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys something that I made in the past here. Um, actually, I made two of these. Uh, one of our machinists at work retired, and I made him one of these as a retirement gift. Uh, and I actually put his name on it and things like that. So uh, let's give you a look around this thing. Um, so it's a scale model of a milling machine. Um, <clears throat> Not, I don't know if, you know, it's pretty close to a Bridgeport mill, um, same features, or a clone. Um, so, sorry about the squeaking there. Um, so that's just a quick tour around it. And I'll show you some of the parts and stuff here. Uh, you know, as I was building it, I have some photos. So let me show you those. These are all the individual pieces that I printed to make the model. I did have to do a little bit of drilling, tapping, sanding, things like that to make it all work. Uh, here you have the Z-axis lead screw being installed. And there's the X-axis lead screw uh, getting put into the table and you can see some of the T-slots. And this is the head unit in three pieces that I sub-assembled to put it all together. Let's go in closer and give you some views of the model. Um, you can see the table. Everything's 3D printed. The lead screws, it actually has lead screws and uh, things do move and function. So just a quick close-up of some things. And I'll show you what things uh, do actually function here. So let's take a look. Now, I didn't actually um, design the models for this. I did find this on Thingiverse. Um, it's a 3D printing site if you're not familiar with it where you can download free models. Uh, the person that actually did it uh, is from Taiwan and I'll put him put his name in the description uh, the link you can download the models to. Now I did modify them quite a bit to get to this version of what I have um, but you can also check out one interesting thing too if you watch uh, Mr. Pete Tublicane he has on his channel a gentleman named James Restaino. Restaino. Sent him one um, that he actually milled out of aluminum. Very impressive. Uh, really nice work. So check that out. And it's, it's about the same scale and everything. Instead of plastic, he did it all out of aluminum. So very impressive. Now, like I said, everything on here does work. Uh, the vise, if you turn it, it'll open and close. And the vise actually, these are actual T-slots here. And I made little miniature T-slot nuts so you can move it around, uh, position it, or take it off completely. Um, <clears throat> the Z-axis functions, goes up and down. The Y-axis moves. And the X-axis also moves. A little tighter than the rest. Probably should have uh, worked on it a little more, but it does function and actually if you look at it the spindle actually goes up and down too so really impressive model um, you know look out for it if you want to build something similar uh, I am working on a couple videos up till now um, I've showed you guys some of the machines I have and some things I've done um, but I haven't taken you along for the actual building so Hopefully in the next couple videos here, um, I'm starting a new project. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm still in the design process. So once I get everything worked out, uh, I'll definitely take you guys along for the actual build. Um, so definitely if you're interested in these kinds of things, stay tuned to the channel and I'll see you soon.